Hello everyone, and welcome to the Industrial AI Lab. My name is Bumsu Park, and I'll be giving an introduction to our lab today. The Industrial AI Lab, also known as the IAI Lab, focuses on data-driven researches, more specifically artificial intelligence, as the name suggests. So the question is, why machine learning, and how can we use this technology to solve various research problems? First of all, conventional approaches for solving engineering problems in various real-world systems tend to be challenging due to issues such as the non-linearity associated with the system, potentially unknown dynamical effects, and even the high-dimensional nature of the system. The opportunity here is that in all of these systems, we're having an explosion of data. We have this massive increase in data collection capabilities that we've never had before, with high fidelity simulations, better experimental measurement techniques, and faster computers, and so on. So instead of trying to write down from first principle physics what the equations of motions are for this robotic system is, or trying to derive a model for how a material will behave, we can directly learn to solve these engineering problems from data. One way to leverage this data is through machine learning algorithms where we can identify underlying patterns and appropriately use to solve these research problems. Now the crux of this AI-based approach is that in all of these complex systems with high dimensional, non-linear, possibly unknown dynamics, there tend to be dominant patterns that emerge in the data. So to summarize, the research that we do includes, but is not limited to topics such as manufacturing, robotics, materials, healthcare, and so on. Today, I'll be briefly introducing a couple of examples in each of these fields. And on the right is a list of our collaborators. And as you can see, our lab is actively involved in research with both various industries and national research centers. Without further ado, starting with the first example, scanning electron microscopes, also known as SEMS, are a crucial piece of equipment in the realm of material science. With its ability to provide high resolution imaging, and detailed surface information, SEMS play a pivotal role in identifying the intricacies of nanoscale structures. However, challenges arise when the focus is compromised, leading to blurred or distorted images. To address this issue, we designed a machine learning algorithm to de-blur these images and enhance the overall image quality. The idea here is that with enough low resolution and high resolution image pairs, we can train an AI model to transform these low resolution images into high resolution images. In this example, you can see that higher level details are revealed through the blurring process. Similar to the first example, in this work we applied a machine learning technique to achieve super resolution. On the left is a low resolution image, and on the right is the high resolution image used for the training. After the training process was completed, we were able to achieve high resolution images simply by feeding low resolution images into the trained model, enhancing microstructure identification. Another example of image enhancement can be seen in this work. Here, instead of a scanning electron microscope, we used a slightly different technology, photoacoustic processing. Now this technology is often used to visualize the internals of organic matter, such as the veins or organs of an animal. Here in this example, we have a photoacoustic image of a mouse. As a result, we trained an AI model to learn the intrinsic mapping between a low resolution image and the high resolution ground truth, enabling high resolution photoacoustic imaging with less effort. Moving on to the realm of kinematic systems, we applied machine learning to develop an image-based estimation and action recognition framework. Vision-based pose estimation is considered to be challenging due to noise and obstruction, resulting in a less ideal pose estimation result. Here in this work, we developed a method to accurately extract the pose estimation from the images, as you can see in the left example. Based on this estimation, our algorithm recognizes the action and ultimately assesses how safe a particular action is. Now, this is expected to alleviate potential dangers in the workplace through the usage of surveillance cameras. Image-based recognition can also be used in the field of manufacturing. Here in this example, we developed a method for defect detection in aluminum sheets. 
The detection is done in real time, showing the individual locations of the defects. We believe that this method can be used in industrial settings to identify anomalies during the production phase. Moving on to medical applications, here we designed an AI-based approach to classify tumors within the large intestine using ultrasonic images. Each of these boxes provide information on the type and probability of tumor that is detected within the ultrasonic image. Similarly, we can also use AI to detect where a polyp is within a given image. In this example, we designed an algorithm to detect the location of polyps within the small intestine. Each of these heat maps correspond to the potential polyp location that is detected within a given image. Here's a video of this method working in real time. This AI model was trained with data from hospitals and medical research centers with input from actual doctors. Besides image-based research, our group has also developed methods to identify the source of a sound based on a set of microphones. This technology is promising since it can potentially be used to locate distress sounds and safely rescue people that have been lost. As a matter of fact, this work has been featured in the national news as you can see in these images. Taking a closer look at this work, here you can see that based on a set of given measurements from the microphones, we are able to accurately reconstruct and pinpoint the location of the sound source. I won't be going over all the details here, but the idea is that through AI, we can learn the intrinsic mapping between a certain set of measurements and the ground truth location of that sound source. So far, we've seen examples where data-driven approaches alone prove to be efficient. One major issue, though, is that we aren't necessarily using prior knowledge to aid the learning process. In many cases, prior or domain knowledge can help the learning process, especially when we have a scarcity of data or want faster training. Now, if we think about it, we already have previously established physical models. Why not take advantage of this to aid the learning process and obtain improved results? Interestingly enough, many active researches are currently ongoing to answer this research question. Now, this concept known as physics informed learning has been gaining popularity, especially in the realm of digital twins or manufacturing, mainly because incorporating physical knowledge can be advantageous when we have less data or if we want a more accurate model. So if we take a look at these two examples, here we have two different cases where the physics of the system is known. Starting with the example on the left, the ground truth is the solution of a partial differential equation in which we can solve the solution for. And on the right, we have the physics informed learning compared with a purely data-driven approach. We notice that the physics informed case more closely resembles the actual solution in contrast to the purely data-driven approach. The same can be said for the example on the right. We were able to obtain more accurate solutions by incorporating physics into the learning process. Last but not least, we can extend this concept to incorporate multi-physics, in which we demonstrated in a battery. In this example, we incorporated multiple physical phenomena into the training process, allowing us to train a more accurate AI model. On the bottom right is an example of the estimated temperature field within the battery cell, and we can see that the AI trained with multi-physics yields more accurate results. Now, throughout the examples that we've seen today, it is evident that AI possesses great potential in various fields of research. Through continuous exploration and innovation, we strive to unlock new possibilities with the help of machine learning. This concludes our lab introduction, and thank you for joining me on this insightful journey today.